Hey, and welcome to video number five. We're going to talk about getting your foot in the door. In the previous video, we talked about finding potential responsive companies, and now we're going to talk about how to make contact with that company without seemingly like you're, you know, trying to sell them and you're trying to help them. So the question is, how can you help them? Do not think about oh what can I get out of this company how can you help them so see what they are attempting to do which is what we did in the previous video and improve it just a little so let's go back to my other screen and and I'll show you step by step how to do this now there are several things that you can do to gain the trust of your potential responsive company and I'm gonna show you several ways of doing that First of all, I'd recommend that you go to Google and you look for a program called Jing. Jing is created by TechSmith, the same people that create Camtasia. And I love Jing because it's you can, in fact, create these really short five-minute videos. You can upload them and then you can send your potential client a link to that video. And what I recommend that you do is look at what they're doing right now and see how they can improve if I go back to Craigslist and I type in YouTube let's say for example today that I want to target at least five to ten different companies that I can contact and make five to ten you know improvements advice and videos videos that include tips and things like that because if you do it right and you find somebody who is responsive and you know what is attempting to use YouTube or social media and this and that then you really you don't have to contact a hundred companies in fact over a week span you can just contact 10 20 different companies and focus on helping them if you focus on helping them I guarantee you you'll probably get more success that way so I want to type YouTube here and I'm gonna go through look for somebody who do 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 pest control. So we got somebody who sells pest control and somebody that does expert tree service. So let's say that we're gonna focus on these two people uh, for now, just for YouTube, or we'll just do one YouTube, one Facebook, and uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, so. Let's just do one. Uh, we're going to do expert tree service. The first thing before you do anything is to analyze them. Okay, so it says shock tree expert service. I'm going to copy their business name. And then I'm going to look at their video. Then I would basically go through and I would point out what needs to be changed. For example, the title needs to be changed and have some sort of geographical location so for example this should be Shaw Tree Expert Service Columbia South Carolina and then maybe some sort of call to action that relates to that keyword in the front and then I would recommend saying okay you need to put that description and keyword into the description you need to put your phone number and this and that what needs to be improved and I'm just I would just walk them through the process of what they need to do most companies will not do it I'll tell you that most companies will not do that and another thing you can say is okay you need to turn this into a picture ad so that when somebody clicks on this picture ad they get forwarded to your video or they get forwarded to your website and you can even do it for them and in fact I would recommend going to a site called Graphic River and Graphic River is basically a place where you can find really professional graphics that you can just plug and play basically plug in the data and that's it so I would go to Graphic River and I would you know print templates or web elements and see banners and ads social media 
you could even do ads and you, you see how nice these ads look like right they're really really good looking ads and the fact of the matter is you don't have to be a professional ad creator to just change the data so imagine that you plug in their data onto this on these ads and send it to them or you get somebody else to do it and then you upload this image ad to your web host for example and then you basically in Craigslist you'll have to give them a link or or some code so say for example you upload that image so this is basic code I'm, li I'm basically linking or hyperlinking a image so this is the image here this stuff IMG SRC equals a link to the image and then alt code short description tag so you would need to do that and then this link here would basically link to either their website to the YouTube page or anything like that in fact I would probably recommend linking them to your a certain website if they have one and then have on those pages on their website a link to a YouTube video um, but it depends on the market as well but that works really well and if you can do that then that will make a huge difference because when when somebody imagine being the offline business owner and they receive just a code and you say hey plop this code and it's gonna look like this you know it's going to have it's going to look like this or something and when they look at it, they're like, wow, you know, I didn't pay you for anything and you're helping me out. Of course, it's a law of reciprocation here. A lot of times they will feel compelled to hire you, um, give you a job, barter with you, or even pay you. In fact, in this economy, I found a lot of companies are willing to barter um, with you. And that's the beauty of this beast is that you know as you can see it doesn't take a lot of time once you have one of these ads you can just click on it and then purchase the ad or the extended version so that you can use it over and over and over again um, but just make sure you read the license uh, here but once you have your system set up where as you have an ad and you can just plug and play and plug it in then you can move on to the next person and then move on to the next person and move on to the next person and in terms of Facebook fan pages, Facebook, oh, so Graphic River doesn't have that, but literally you can take an ad and turn it into a Facebook fan page. And I'll show you in the next video how to actually take this further and get somebody to do it for you so that you can sit back and just, you know, you do the due diligence in terms of finding the people that you want to target and then you create like an Excel spreadsheet and then you send it over to your person to create the ads and then they create the ads. You can create five to 10 different ads a day and just think of, amount of the amount of work that you can get from that. So just a quick recap, once you found the companies that you wanna deal with, then the question that you have to ask yourself is how can you help them improve? How can they improve? What do you see in terms of online marketing, conversions, traffic, or anything else that they can um, improve? And how can they improve on that and tell them what they need to do? I mean, most companies, some companies will take it and they won't even call you back. But, you know, maybe a few months later down the road, they'll call you back. You see, a lot of companies will either they don't want to do it or they do want to do it. And they'll try it and they'll fail at it again and then they'll call you later. So don't think that you send out 10 of these ads and you only get one response immediately. I found you send out 10 and over a year's span you can get about 8 of those back because really what it comes down to is you sat there and you helped them and they saw that you were willing to help them and your service is valuable for that.